Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are finally back with some more Divide and Conquer as Dorwinian. Yes, we are back with Big Dorwinian over here, which is fantastic to be finally back uh, playing these guys. Sorry it's taken so long. Just so strapped for time at the minute now, guys, with the new job and everything. Um, so... Of course, I'm going to try and get as many of these out as possible, but it might lead to these episodes being slightly shorter, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. More digestible bites for you guys rather than really long hour, hour and 10 minute videos. We might go for about 45 minutes, but I guess we'll see. We'll see how we get on. It just depends on what mood I'm on, really, honestly. <laughs> sometimes I really want to just keep playing and sometimes, you know, you want to be only playing for 45 minutes. Um, so down here, we do have Mataram under siege. Uh, it's going to take two turns until they take it. But I don't believe that they will carry on sieging it after this turn because of Avalyn's rest that we have down here. Of course, Avalyn did die last time, which was very, very, very upsetting, to be honest. Because he is one of our greatest generals that we've ever had. Uh, and the problem being now, we are so, so far from anywhere that we can train units. Strondost is really the best place that we can train units right now. And we are miles away from Strondost. So upgrading these roads is going to be a priority to start with. As well as upgrading these as recruitment hubs. We were trying to upgrade Mataram a little bit. Um, but yeah. Whereas over here we have a few more recruitment hubs. We're closer to Santamui. Especially up here in the north. So we should be okay. But anyway, I think we're at the end turn. So let's end the turn. And let's see what's happening. I think... Uh, I'm hoping that Dolgador does attack us. But I doubt it. I very, very, very much doubt it. So we might have to go and take the fight to them. I just hate fighting Morgul rats. The Easterlings are such a fun nation to fight. And then you have to go and fight Dolgador trash. And, God, no, and Mordor trash. <laughs> Uh, which is never, never quite as fun as fighting the Easterlings of Rune because they are a really fun uh, nation to fight and to play as. Honestly, quite a fun nation to play as. I'm glad the um, the uh, uh, the Astari choice was chosen rather than the evil choice by Khand. Uh The Blue Wizards have come, uh, but Avalon's Rest <laughs> Merchants Guild. I mean, we're not going to accept that for now. Lorian is under attack. That's actually kind of crazy. What do you want me to do? Obtain trade agreement with Khand. Okay. Rumors have spread from the coasts of Middle Earth uh, that an armada of black sail warships is heading north, raiding and pillaging as they go. The fleet was last seen passing the Cape of Andras, but none can say where they are heading. You cannot stop this invasion with ships. Yep. That's uh, them on the way to Mythland. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, good luck. Right, we do have Orgimund here, and I'm wondering, is it worth getting him in a settlement? Because some of these settlements are very, very rich yes. around the edge of the uh, the sea, as we can see, making thousands of gold a turn. And they'll make even more. Say, so if I got him up to Rubar, we'd be making even more. But where is our ship? Well, I think we'll start with that. We'll get you on there. We could send him with the army, but I don't think it's quite worth it just yet. Um, we do have some new troops, which is great. We are going to be spending a lot of cash. Do need to upgrade the economy, which is what we're doing over here. As you can see, Alanin got the standing stones as well. And when we can get a port there, that'd be fantastic. Well, oh, this is two armies. I didn't realize it was two armies. That's mad. Strondost, we got a warrior. Lots of retraining going on. Where was the retraining going on, though? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Right, let's go straight for the rest of the Eastling capital because we just want to basically take it. It's a bit annoying that Varfest is gone, uh, but Mordor should be a bit more worried about their back than anything else. Um, I think that's fine. We've taken that at Mataram. Enmahath is fine as well. Where did we retrain? Oh, it must have been here. I'm guessing getting the extra armor. Oh, what does Master of Nabur? Protector and Governor of the Isle of Nabur. Oh, cool. Nice. 
So we're getting the standing stones over here. I'm wondering, you know, Enmahath is upgrading for retraining. I think we should probably do that here as well. It's only 31% Northmen though. Ah, no, we'll do uh, we'll do something cheap and economy-based. So maybe Alarnin up here, we want to build uh, the port. But we can't because we've we've put a chicken farming in. I, I think the port, honestly, is a... Is the better option there. How much does this cost again? Yep, yeah, we can accept that now. Um, oh, yes. We are finally building the Sword Singers Academy. That should be very nice. Uh, anything else we want to recruit, maybe? Uh, maybe, some, maybe some Darwinian infantry. Just to bolster the ranks. Bolster those ranks. No mercenaries available down here. That's fine by me. If they go for that, that's fine. There was this guy, Ma here. He's going down to Burr Emericus. Good. Something we need. Right, let's uh, let's do this battle then. We'll leave that little boy behind. Now, best way to do this would probably be to come from this side. And attack them that way. So, they've got a ballista. <laughs> But the rest of their troops are just utter shite. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Well, Dolgador, I hope you enjoy this absolute caning we're about to give you. We shall see you in a second, guys. Here we are as we have a little bit of a jig in the background. We've got Edward in, so let's try not to get him killed, shall we? That would be a great idea. We've only got three units of cavalry, really, which actually is not that much. But we are fighting goddamn Dolgador, so... And I think we're going to throw all our troops into this. Do we just go with a big line? I mean... <laughs> it's not amazing. It's not amazing. But it's not terrible either, is it, really? There's <laughs> a bit of a, wi uh, a wishy-washy army in terms of there's just parts of everything. So at least the Avari warriors are on the side. And uh, if we come forward slightly, we should be able to start firing at them straight away. One sec, guys. Sorry about that. Just had to sneeze quite vigorously. So you did not want to hear that. But anyway, let's, uh, let's come forward. Looks like they're going to also come forward. We can get uh, the Avari Naharim over here. Now we should just shred them with our archers, honestly. Everyone halt. Get firing. If we can kill enough of them with our archers, that'd be great. I'm not too bothered about the other army coming in because it's just pure trash once again. We should absolutely shred them with these archers now. Firing right into that block. That's great. Right, let's speed it up bit laggy again. It's very weird that it's laggy because like like I've said previously it should not be laggy. I mean, this is a really old game. Uh, probably just the computer warming up once again. So let's come forward and we'll uh, bring our boys forward as well. We won't run them this time. Got the Avari Naharim firing. Well, let's bring the those boys forward. Let's come around this way. Now they're going to have point blank range. They cannot cannot miss pretty much right now. Oh, I mean, some of them can't hit everyone, but how many have we killed? We only killed 3% with our archers. That's pretty bad, honestly. I thought we'd have killed way more than that. But I'm happy to stand here and skirmish because they're really not going to be able to do anything else, are they? They're firing their ballista, but who are they firing it at? The Avari Spearman. Not really a high-value target. I'm not too bothered about that. Poor elves, but I don't care. Come on, surely we're killing a few more now. Yes, we are. Good. They're firing back, but our archers are just so much better. God, crossbowmen are slow. It's honestly pointless having these crossbowmen, I think. There's actually no point having them, in, having them anymore. <laughs> Right, boys, we'll come back. Get there. 
And then we're going to march our men forward. Go, boys, go. Where's me knights? Let's get them over there. And then when these boys are any close to the action, we'll get the uh, spear walls down. These are Dolgador scouts. Come on, you really think that that's going to work? Get going, boys. Get going. We're just going to fully surround them. Let's go. These guys should be in a spear wall. So should these boys. Oh, look how surrounded they are now. Right, let's go. Let's come this way. What are you? Mirkwood goblins really couldn't care less. The Avari Narim are pretty much done now. So... I mean, what do you think you're going to do? What do you think you're going to achieve, Mirkwood Goblins? Genuinely. What do you think you're going to achieve? Broken already. <laughs> right, good. Come on, boys. You've got to fight well. You've got to keep fighting. If anything, we should bring our archers forward now. What are these guys doing? Halt, for God's sake. Halt. Halt. Same with you guys. Halt. How are you losing so much? Uh, right. Back out. Back out, boys. Back out. Let's go. Come on. Right. Let's kill the... Uh, if we can get a good charge in the Oryx Slayers, that should be quite a good... Uh, good one. We only have Rally with Edward in, which is a bit sad. But apart from that, you know, it's all right. Uh, right. Back out now. The Moriquendis are doing well. These guys, not so well. How are we doing everywhere else? I mean, pretty well, honestly. It's that big blob of them over there, isn't there? So if we can clear up this flank, we should be good. What are they? Orc Maulers. Uh, back into the Oryx Slayers, I would say. So we can save this Avari Warrior. Right, Avari Warriors, you guys come around this way. And we'll try and flank this big block. Good, 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 good. That was a rubbish charge. Rubbish charge. So maybe I shouldn't say good. Right, boys, let's come round. Who are you? Fight these guys. Where are you? Oh, you're literally spread out everywhere. Well, come round. Fight these orc maulers, will you? Get over this way. Hmm. Fight them. Fight them. Kill them all. Right then, into uh, these guys once again. Hopefully this time they actually charge well. But I'm not holding my breath. Come on, boys. This is your time. This is your time. They're still fresh, so I don't see how they shouldn't be. They should be charging well. Come on, that's got to be them routing, surely. Surely. They're down to 11 men. Oh, good. Well, one of the generals is dead. That should break a few of them, shouldn't it? Right, boys, back out. Orc Mauler's running away. Only half the enemy force remains. Right, boys, let's uh, let's see if we can get round this way. Where are the enemies? There's a lot of them over there. Right, time to get into the, all these archers, these archery boys. Uh, wait, I will just start. Oh, this is the mass route started now, boys. You guys, you guys just chase him down. Come on, this has got to be mass route time. Mass route time, boys. I don't think we've lost many men. 29%. That seems kind of high. I mean, we did lose a lot of a couple of units. Ah, we cut the enemy general down. Yes. Glorious. Glorious. Is there anyone... I was going to say, who is left? Uh, right. Let's uh, cut them all down. Keep going. Come on, boys. Chase them down. I want to kill both of these armies fully. So we've got to kill 85%, of course. Um, Edward in. 
you guys keep coming. Where are the rest? Where's the cavalry? Cavalry, come on! You idiots! You've let them go! What are they doing? Come on! Right, that's better. Stupid fools! You let so many of them go! Kill them! Come on! Kill them all! So we can kill both the armies! Nightmare! <laughs> Get them! I think that's everyone, right? Apart from these guys over here. But it looks like they've just won. So, well done, boys. Good job. Ah, <laughs> oh, I, I, I think both of those armies are going to survive. Or at least one of them, anyway. Come on, boys. This is terrible work. Terrible, terrible work. You did really good work in the battle. Not so good after it. <laughs> That's got to be everyone, right? Who's... Who's not dead? Well, I'll, uh, I'll quit the battle here anyway, because we did win. Heroic victory! Glorious! We only lost 500, and we did kill about 3,000, so... Pretty good result, honestly, especially for humans versus orcs. The Avari Noharim, 328 they killed. The Moriquendi Sentinels, 262. The Avari Shadows, oh my days, a lot, a lot. Look at that Thorn God, 221. So it did take a lot of damage, but it did dole out some damage as well. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys, and we can ransom all these boys for a bit of cash, but of course, we're going to execute them. They do not deserve to live, these fools. Yes. Very good. Very good. Got some money for that as well. Nice. And we got two command for Big Edwardin, the absolute boy. So uh, let's go straight for Rawberg, I believe it's called. Let's build a watchtower along the way. And keep building watchtowers so we can actually see our own land. Now we do need, we definitely do need some of these boys to garrison our cities. So we will recruit them as well. Probably likely that we're going to get attacked this turn by Datan. This guy can't reach us, which is great. Um, but why are we sending you there? Hmm. Forgot about you. Well, I think you need to go and join up with Norway. If we can get over there next turn. That should be quite good. And uh, we'll actually have an army. But Norway has to survive this turn first. So, <laughs> let's see with that. Let's see. Right, down here, we are just resting. Av Avalyn's rest. Mourning his loss. His glorious, glorious loss. Um, and yeah, we're going to send these elven troops down in a little while when we get a chance. So, let's end the turn. We've got our diplomat going down to speak to Kant. That's good. Get some juicy trade agreement going. Maybe even an alliance. Who would have thought, huh? Who would have thought? But yeah, we are going to go through Mordor, the back of Mordor. Hopefully we can kill, uh, <laughs> kill Sauron. The Easterlings of Rune. They want a ceasefire. I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, we could have got some money out of that. I could have been a bit more sensible. Why didn't I do Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I get some money? I should have got some money. Uh, but it really doesn't matter too much. God damn. God damn. Bloody Dolgador. Being a fool. Being a horrible, horrible fool. I mean... I don't think we need to come down there t to defend that. I think we'll be okay. It just really wants a merchant's guild at Avalyn's Rest, right? <laughs> not the richest city, but not terribly poor either. So, I mean, it's not too bad an idea, but it, it's not a great idea. That's what I'll say. <laughs> uh, Construction-wise, Santan Wee got the Sword Singers Academy, which now... Wait, I thought that... That's the Avari... Morale, oh, morale bonus. So, if we now go to, say, like, this guy. Morale's poor, but should get, 
surely the morale's improved? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Mistran got the trader exchange. Nice. Wait, there's not even a port at Mistrand yet? I mean, that's got to go in there. Jesus. I completely forgot about that. Mistrand would be making so much more money if there was a port. Jesus. What about Naburka? Oh, it's just not big enough yet. Oh, it's not going to be big enough for a while. When Tyrion Yar does, Rhubar, everywhere else does, apart from obviously Elanin up here. God damn. Go away. <laughs> Stupid ships. You guys go over there. Carverad has been sieged by Dolgador. Strondost, we got a bit. Carverad, we got those levies. Santanwi, we got a retraining. So I think you should go and join that army when you can. So we've got more cavalry. Let's build another watchtower. Let's build another watchtower. What is in that army? It's three units. I think we can beat that. No matter what those units are, unless it's Kamul's Shadow Guard, then I think we'll beat it. Uh, if they do want to try and siege us down. So, how about over here? Anyone else we kind of want to fit in? Probably some Thorn Riders, but it's going to take too many turns. So, I think a Bladesman and a couple of uh, Thorn Guard should be enough to try and bolster this army because it is quite weak and when we've uh, you know uh, brought the new troops down we should be good i wonder whether we can get any good mercenaries around here no mercenaries in mordor no mercenaries for mordor very good right let's see whether we can leave mataram with this guy as well how about with you how about with you Mm, just about. It's 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 close. But I think it's okay. And we can come down to Avalyn's Rest as well. So we can bolster the troops there. Uh, Enmahath is building still. Good. Right. Yes. Let's get over here. And I think this is really important that we do this. And let's go for Viltor. Once we've done that, we can then go maybe down to Varfest. Because we really don't want this... An open wound against us down here. Problem is, we, we're kind of... Once we get to the end... Once we get to the Black Gate... We're kind of a bit screwed, really. In terms of which way to go. Unless we can come up here... And, you know, Dale will help us. But... Eh, Dale's not been very useful so far, really, have they? <laughs> I mean, one good thing is they haven't taken Beralga, Which is a good settlement, because it's an extra settlement with a port on the river. So, you know... Oh my god, Ilanin is rich! 48! <laughs> 48! Oh, we're losing 478 due to devastation. No trade, a bit of taxes. Farms have got an excellent harvest, so that's good. But as soon as that port is built... I mean, it's saying it's only going to trade up to 77, but I think that's wrong. I think it'll trade a bit more than that. So... Let's end the turn. See what we want to do. Oh, hello there. Yes. What about an alliance? You're pleased. Barely accepted. But how about I give you map information for like maybe 2,000 gold this time? 2,000 gold. Ooh, okay. Well, they won't accept it now because they've already rejected one. Normally what happens, guys, if, if they do reject one offer, they'll reject the next. So uh, you can either reset it with giving them like 10 gold as a gift. It will reset it. But um, I don't want to give them 10 gold, you know. <laughs> I'm that greedy. Not 10 gold for you, sir. Oi, Bamari doesn't deserve my gold. But anyway... Um... <laughs> But yeah, we just need to get rid of the Easterlings so that their ships stop harassing us as well. Blockading our ports. Quite annoying. Quite annoying. Reducing our income by quite a bit every single turn. So yeah, get rid of them and we'll be a lot happier. Oh, dearie me. You just won't give up on Avalyn's Rest, will you? We got 300 florins. Wow. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. 300 for the boys. We got uh, grain exchanges as well, which is quite good. Do like the old grain exchange. 
And uh, chicken farming. My favorite type of farming. Chicken farming. Yes. I don't know. I don't know why it's my favorite type of farming, but anyway, uh, we've got some pretty fat amount of troops here now. So let's go back now to Avalyn's Rest and uh, bring the army. Yeah, this is why we need the paved roads. You can see how much quicker they move on the paved roads. As soon as they get onto these shitty roads, like over in Lest, they really struggle. But they cost so much money. I mean, let's see what we can do in terms of our building over here. Is there any, like, sort of economic buildings over in these areas that we want to build? Probably the land clearance up there. How about Rhubar? Let's go for... I think the, sh you know, the sheep farm is not going to be bad. So let's get that. You get into Rhubar. And you go and kill them if we can. Uh, we'll accept that now. Now anywhere else we can build something cheap. Leather tanner in at Santanwe is definitely a good idea. Get the armor up on these boys. You can retrain as soon as we are able to. You can go and join there. And let's go straight for Rohrberg. Now I do kind of want to play this because it's so fun just peppering the AI with missiles in the center of the city. So I think I will. You know, I think I will. Your orders, my They've got a big army there. But I'm not I'm not worried about the Easterlings anymore. They resurged and now they've been crushed. So I, I yeah, I, I'm not worried about them anymore. What I am worried about though is Mordor down here. So what we'll probably do, we'll have to get Norway to do that. We'll probably send them back to Santanwe and then we'll come back down. What's in Austinary? A general and a archer. They've only got three units. I don't think that'll be anything too scary. So what I might do is send you over to Austinary because more likely Mordor's going to attack that. Uh, and you can be an extra defensive unit. Right. Well, let's do the attack on uh, Rawberg. Just because it'll be quite fun. They've got a thousand men here as well. Some defenders... Oh, we are going to rain some fire down upon them. So I will see you there, guys. Here we are. And this is what I mean. This is going to be fun, 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 fun. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I think crossbowmen need to go there because they can only fire pretty much straight. You can go with these trashy guys. And we'll send the actual good archers probably around this side. With them, I don't really want to lose any of my elite troops. So we'll send some Thorn Guard around this way. With potentially a couple of Swordmasters, maybe. And then on this side, we'll do these boys. We'll also send Avalyn around this way with the rest of the cavalry. Well, not Edward in. We'll leave Edward in here. Uh, so we've got those two. What, who else have we got left? Where, where are the, all the troops? Oh, they're all over here. Well, that's all we've got left. So I'm thinking, if we need to be, we'll send these boys around this way. And these boys can stay here. So, crossbowmen. You're going to have to get really close, aren't you, crossbowmen? That's going to really annoy me. But, come forward. And uh, you boys can actually go, like, over here would be okay. And we'll bring you boys here just in case. Now, over this way. Get you off that. And we'll get Thorn Guard here. Looks like they're already moving. What I should do is, is really group these guys up. And we'll send you boys over this way. And you can actually probably fire over this as well. Fire whichever way you want. And just have a good time. Right, we're going to have to uh, get these boys forward. They're just Mirkwood goblins. I don't see a problem here. Tell you what. Tell you what we should do. Is 100% get here. And we'll be able to fire into the side of those fools. While they're getting fired at by the crossbows. 
Oh, glorious. Right, boys. Have at it. Have at it, my friends. Put you on guard mode so you're not being silly. Um, and... Oh, hello, Orc Hunters. I did not even realize that you were there. You guys go and fight them. Oh, come on, boys. This has got to be... Surely we're doing some damage. Oh, yes. Look at this. The killing zone. The killing zone. This is why I said it's fun to do these battles, guys. That's why it's worth it. Why it's worth it. 100% worth it. I mean, even if we... We can even get the uh, Avari Naharim on, in on this action. Come on, boys. Fire in there. Oh, the killing zone. Oh, it's fun. I love using archers to just destroy the enemy. Uh, stay off that. And let's get over this way. Come on, guys. You're, all, you're only fighting orc hunters. You can't lose many men. Imagine being an elf and living for thousands of years. And then you get killed by a, a little horrible little goblin. Oh, my God. Like, there's more dead bodies than men, le than orcs left here now. <laughs> terrible, terrible units. Terrible. I mean, while we're here, we might as well just bring our guys through to try and charge these guys in the back. Look at this rain of death. Rain of death and terror. Oh, glorious. Poor orcs. Poor orcs. They're getting shot from every single different angle. <laughs> getting shot from this angle now as well. Oh, dearie me. You orcs are funny, aren't you? Oh, the orc hunters have gone for the Navari Naharim. <laughs> what, boys? I respect that. You know, I respect that. I do respect that. Especially when they're getting just shredded. Why aren't you guys following them? Like, what are you doing? Stop being stupid. Like, follow them. I mean, should be able to kill them quite quickly. Um, let's go shoot. Go on then, boys. That's not a charge. You stopped before you finished the charge, you idiots. Come on. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've killed everyone. Killed all. Every man and orc that there has ever been. Kill them, for God's sake. There we are. <laughs> oh, I told you they're fun. Like, it's not hard, but it's fun. It's fun just scything down the enemy with our arrows. <laughs> oh, I mean, the crossbowmen did really well there. Making up for their lack of speed of fire. But anyway, let's. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Honestly... I know they're not too happy, but I think we're just going to occupy because if we sack it, they already have no population. So I don't really want to do that. I'm going to keep the slave pit. Uh, I'll keep all of these buildings, actually. There's nothing in here just for uh, orcs. So that's fine. Um, right. And I think we keep on moving if we could, which we can't. <laughs> So, what else have we got? Carver add up here. Yeah, they have actually built rams and stuff now. So, they might actually attack, which would be great. I would love to see that. Love to see that. Um, Ilanin. And these boys have all moved, right? Yeah, moved. And moved. I don't know if they... They might go for Emmerhalf, but I, I doubt it. Although Enmahath is bordering Varfest. Well, if they do, they're going to have a little bit of a scare when this army comes marching towards them. Um, and while we're here, we might as well send some boys back for retraining. Hmm. I don't really want to send those elf, boy, elf boys back, though. But the Avari Naharim, that would be a very nice unit, fully, fully retrained. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to dwell on that, guys. I'm going to dwell on that. Right then. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And next episode, 
We're going to go after Bur Alga, get that nice economic settlement up there. And we're going to see what we can see with Dolgador and see whether we can push fully into Mirkwood while, uh, you know, getting our Mordor army together and pushing further and further down into Mordor and Varfest. Right then, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all again on the next video.